Morning everyone. Welcome to uh, Last Out with the Lads today. It's, uh, there's no camping, we're just gonna have a little run out and uh, meet up with the lads. Don't get, to, don't get to go out with them much, we're going away camping and uh, touring and that. So it'll be nice to meet up with them. I think we're gonna meet up Durham, have a little meander down through to Yorkshire. Got a bit of a helmet setup change going on. I had a little bit of a mic failure on the last video, which was a bit of a nightmare. Put a new microphone in it, but it wasn't the normal quality. And my spare helmet, which are the ones in for repair, and uh, had a lot of problems with it. I will do a video showing the. Showing the microphone and camera setup on the bike because this is a really good setup but it was a it was a spare helmet and it didn't work basically <laughs> well it was terrible the quality so hopefully this is a little bit better it's got the proper microphone back in it again so just having a little run over at the Washington services to meet the lads and then uh, have a nice day out get some nice views some nice riding hopefully keep you entertained along the way Catch up with you in a bit. Just pull it into Washington Services. Pedro! Ah, right. <laughs> Hello, I thought you were behind us. What? I could have sworn I seen your lights pull into the petrol station. Behind me. Town Hall Garage. No, oh, I've been to the I've been to the um, Sainsbury's just up the road there. Oh right, right. Because I knew you wouldn't pay these prices. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. All right, mate. All right. You know that. Uh, I got lost coming in. <laughs> right. Up with these bunch and not us. There's Ian. Seen him on plenty of trips. Jamie on the Triumph, you know, on one of the trips last year, Chris and Dave. Don't mention comment to them. many camping trips this year and purely down to the fact the weather has been absolutely unbelievable I've the worst weather I've ever known in the summer for 54 years it's crazy I can't ever remember a summer this bad anyway plans are um, <coughs> plans for the channel and everything the channel's been growing well um, I'll tell you a little bit about the channel started with an idea of just putting some short biking videos on of, of our trips and it was just mainly to show, show the family what we've been up to when we we'll go away and things like that um, and it kind of just escalated from there just ended up doing more and more trips and videoing more and more buying a better setup better cameras and eventually well enjoy editing things like that and eventually we're starting to grow to what it is um, got some cracking followers um, always get great compliments off them on the, on the videos I love, to, I love the, uh, the questions and everything that will get off excellent like-minded people 
but yeah, I really, really love this uh, editing and the YouTube thing, the whole thing. Brilliant. Um, but anyway, so looking forward, I'm due to be moving house in a couple of weeks. Um, where I'm going hasn't got any garage or workshop. So I'll be doing a couple of videos on the new the new build for the new bike workshop. Um, which is being built from scratch so completely bespoke bike workshop come come camping storage whatever um, plus a new a new studio for editing the videos as well so do a do a couple of videos on that so we're heading over to uh, Richmond now Imagine we're going to be heading to the stand up. Tell you a little bit uh, about our trip that we had uh, early summer. So my wife and I we went to Portsmouth, got the ferry over to Bilbao. Um, it was a one-way one-way ticket to Bilbao. Return crossing we actually had from um, the Muden. Amsterdam back over to Newcastle it's kind of a round trip it turned out to be a bit of a disaster actually because um, I started videoing it filming it <coughs> but uh, gave up on it in the end because it was so kind of distressing this trip really um, we got off the ferry the weather was about 20 21 degrees cloudy I thought all right this is okay we're headed towards the Pyrenees, into the Pyrenees, went up to 40 degrees. So we're riding the bike, we had to do something like 150, 160 mile a day. But the view of stopping each day at dinner time, and then having half a day plus the night time on each stop, it didn't work out at all. So if you've been to the Pyrenees, you realise to try and do 150 mile in the Pyrenees, is a task itself and then trying to find a hotel in the Pyrenees, a decent hotel right in the mountains is impossible. Just little towns and things like that. Whoa lad. So to cut a long story short really I just had booked overbooked far too many miles per day. Too hot. I can understand her on the back she was absolutely Devastated, the holiday was ruined. Yeah. Basically, we just had a shit time. Headed over to the Alps, had a couple of great days riding, but then the weather changed from 40 degrees to raining. We didn't get caught in any rain, we avoided the rain so we couldn't go to Annecy and places like that because the weather had changed. So we headed inland France, and so basically, that holiday was a write off. And now she'll never go back on the bike again, but I don't blame her. Another, at 
was easy. Ah, there's the 50 pence indicator. Been hanging off there, I Biker. Never heard of this before. Didn't even know this was here. Total Biker accessories. Oh, look at this place, man. Excellent. Brilliant. Hope we sell some canny scran. Dave polishing his uh, helmet. <laughs> Form like us coffee. Any uh, various bikes here. Bit of everything. Fine little place. Never been before. A little uh, total biker bike shop up there. The local floods there. Coffee there. Sneaky Eads been there before and I've never uh, never even seen it. What's it called Ian? Manor Farm Coffee. Manor Farm Coffee. Loads of bikes, a uh, canny little shop as well. Just on the way to Leyburn from Richmond to Leyburn. Up here. 
going past the, the firing ranges there. Great little road this takes you down into in the reef. Lush fields and fields of it. Whoop, yeah, well, uh, there's the old uh, firing ranges down there. A little uh, word about reef. Um, when I was a babby, my mum and dad had a caravan and uh, started a caravan in, Le in um, Richmond. And this was one of his uh, favourite places to come to. It's also the very last place I brought my dad for a pie and a pint before he died. And it was really bad. Well, at the time with Alzheimer's, and I, I brought him to a wreath. It was actually the last time he was uh, about to go out, I think. Well, out anywhere away from home, anyway. So, uh, holds a little place in my heart, wreath. So, this road out of wreath, yeah, this takes you along towards Kirby Stephen eventually but it takes you to the, the Tan Hill Inn as well which is the highest highest pub in uh, the UK also along this road there's a, there's a road called the Stang which you can turn right on it takes you from this road towards Barnard Castle the year 66 mental road that so so that's probably where we're going. Whoa, whoa. Look at how this is tough. 50 mile an hour winds or something here. Mad. Bikes getting blown all over the shop. Go under the highest part of the Oaks are dills here. Got a bit of rain. Or cloud or whatever that is. I know it looks like cloud. Bloody hell. Sideways this. Jamie's bike in front. <laughs> uh, we'll get to the Tan Hill Inn in a second. I think we'll be here. Uh, I might be stopping. We'll be stopping at the Tan Hill Inn. Wait till this passes. Jamie doesn't look too uh, happy about this uh, <laughs> weather. The fact he has to lean over sideways. Whoa! That was a flipping strong one. It's just, uh, it's just arriving at the Tan Hill Inn. It's absolutely bleak. You can also camp on the Tan Hill Inn as well. I don't know what it costs, but absolutely bleak up here. Middle of summer. Flipping horrific it is. I don't know what the hell happened to the forecast today, but oh, 
wobbly. You did pick the highest pub in the UK. On the worst day of summer. Oh, it's a bit bleak here, I like so. Have a wander inside, give you a quick clean. I said, on the, I said on the camera, so Jamie doesn't look like he's enjoying this, but <laughs> he didn't look like he was enjoying it. Because he was sideways in the way as well. Like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was sideways in the wind like that, and the wind was blowing you across, so like he's not enjoying this. Like. To the Yorkshire Dales in August. Beautiful. <laughs> this is definitely the worst year we've ever had for weather. Well, that was the highest pub in Britain and the bleakest pub in Britain as well. So we're heading down all the way to. Kirby Stephen so we can fuel up and head towards Brough, Middleton and back home oh there they come so one of the sheep coming over the fence and over the quad I didn't get it on camera, can't believe it absolute lunatic Jumping about six foot in the air. Christ, I didn't realise I could jump. So, I can't ride out actually, not too bad. The weather's picked up a little bit, although it's still quite breezy. So, Nice to get out with the lads, don't get out with them much now. There's been away a lot on the weekends. I hope you've all enjoyed this uh, little Saturday blast out. Now we've got some decent roads, decent weather, but a bit drier. Look forward to any comments or anything about the, where we've been, what we've been up to. What the uh, subscriptions as well, if possible. Lovely little secluded place, this. Um, 
sneak a bit of wild camping in here around the back of that quarry there maybe maybe it's another time so anyway stay safe everyone hope you enjoy your trips and I'll uh, catch you on the next one